In this video, we will be growing catnip. If you own a cat, you definitely need to watch this video if you want to save some money at the pet store. Coming up on Greens and Machines. Yikes. Greensandmachines.com Catnip is a perennial herb that thrives in temperate climates. The catnip plant is most known for being extremely attractive to cats. It contains a chemical called nepetalactone, which, to a majority of the cat population, gets them high. Let's first start by growing the plant from seed. These are catnip seeds. They may be small, but unlike its cousin spearmint, they can be handled much easier and have a better germination rate. You can plant catnip directly into the ground or sow it in containers as small as one gallon. You can choose to propagate catnip from cuttings. In the same way you would root herbs like basil or mint, catnip behaves the same way. If you need more plants, your original catnip plant will have no shortage of branches. As it is related to mint, catnip does send out runners, so there is a chance for it to take over your yard. If you do plant it in the ground, it may attract cats wandering your neighborhood. Use this to your advantage if you want to keep cats away from your other vegetables. The best way to keep your catnip alive is to plant it in a container, water it every day or so, and fertilize it with an organic or water-soluble fertilizer every week or two. Now here's the part your cats will love. To harvest catnip, you can take a few leaves at a time or cut whole stems. When cutting stems, harvest right above a node where the two leaves meet to encourage plant growth. Your cats shouldn't need too much catnip for them to feel the effects. You can feed them a few leaves at a time, or part of a stem for the effects to happen. But if your plant is overgrown and you like for them to roll around in it, you can cut the plant back, pack the leaves into a bottom of the box, and let your feline friends have at it. Alternatively, catnip can be consumed by humans with no ill effect. I may try out a recipe using catnip in a future video. Eventually, catnip will send up a flower stalk. The flowers can be a variety of colors, usually white or purple. Once the flowers dry out, you can easily extract the seeds from them, allowing you to grow more catnip in the future. So those are the basics of growing catnip. Hopefully you can use your newfound knowledge of this plant to make your cats happy. As you can see, they really love catnip. They love homegrown catnip. I highly recommend growing it for your cat if you own some, or if you live with them, in the case of my landlord's cats. He's still rolling around, look at this guy. <laughs> You're cutie. All right, that's my video. Be sure to hit that like button if you found this video informative, and subscribe to Greens and Machines to be informed of when the next video in this series debuts. Share this video with a friend if you think they would find this video entertaining. Yeah, I know you want the catnip. You deserve some too. Also, be sure to check out some of our other videos on this channel before you click away from it. We'll see you in the next one.